What's up everyone? Welcome back to Etrian Odyssey HD. So in the last episode we made our way here to B18. I still have to explore more B17 though, but I'm gonna head through B18 for now. A vast area opens before you as you climb down the steep slope. You feel threats all around you within this expansive space in the labyrinth. Whether it stems from forest folk or other dangers, extreme caution is called for here. You feel you should report to the Radha regarding the forest folk before going any further. Okay. So we're basically forced to go back. So let's go back to B17 instead of using the thread. And I want to want to add some arrows here and explore the rest of this place while we're here. Another arrow going right there. Yeah, like I said in the last episode, in this in the, on this floor you want to look all directions when you uh, go through this place. Okay. I need to go back to town anyway because my TP is getting a little low. I need to restock, on, restock up on toilet paper. I'm always running out. Okay. I should have just, I should have just used the thread probably, but I can get out of here pretty easily, it's fine. I did fill out a little bit of the map on B17, so I guess it's not too bad. I should probably... Nah, I'll just go back. I was going to mine, but I'm not worried about it. There's a spot to mine in this place, but I'll just return to town. I do need to start making a lot of money though because my money is like really low right now. I think there was a new accessory available. I kind of hit X too fast. Oh, maybe not. There was a new bow to buy, right? Yeah, we could buy the vine bow. 
which has 22 more attack. Which is a pretty big upgrade. Not as much as this bow here though. The Arc Drawer. 220 attack, plus it adds 12 to strength and 8 to technique. That's ridiculous. That's the strongest weapon we have so far. Alright, let's go speak to the Radha. Or head to the Radha Hall, I mean. Welcome back. How goes your investigation of the Forp Stratum? What? You met a girl of the Forest Folk? A pact between the humans and the Forest Folk? An ancient promise? I feel that in the Labyrinth Steps lies something that has been lost to antiquity. With your help, I hope to find out what that may be. The chieftain, though, honestly, I haven't any notion of what he is thinking. He has been calling in his two pet adventurers more frequently of late. I guess he's talking about Ren and Tzlatga, or however you pronounce her name. Perhaps we should speak to him about this together. Why do I get the feeling that this is just, I don't know, because I've never played this deep into the game before, but my theory is Ren and Tzlatga are actually evil. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm just speculating. It's just my theory. So don't quote me on that. I'm just saying that's what I think is going to They're going to turn evil or whatever. Or they already are evil. They're just pretending to be good, you know. But that's just what I think. I've read your report. It seems your investigation is going smoothly. It says here you've met the forest folk. And they assert that the forest is theirs. By dint of an ancient pact, there seems to be no mistaking their claim. Regardless, if we accede to this, Etria will have no source of livelihood. Labyrinth from the explorers it attracts. You are the backbone of the of this town. We cannot lose that because of a long forgotten promise to these forest creatures. Adventurers, the terms of the mission stand. Exterminate the forest folk at all costs. For Atria's sake. Their very existence it is a threat and must be removed. Okay. Have you finished discussing things with the chieftain? He seems quite assist insistent on the matter. He won't brook any discussion on what to do. They may look human, but you will have to remember to in battle that they are not. I understand your reluctance, but you are the only ones we can rely on. It will be a hard fought battle. I wish you luck. But I wonder, why won't the chieftain send his two favorites to do the job? That's a good question. Something's up. Like they're evil or something. Like I was just saying. So they've reached the forest folk's home. No venture has yet entered there. The Rizuko Guild. Something must be done about them. See? I didn't know this was going to happen. I, like, I legit did not know this was going to happen. Like, I've never played this deep into the game, like I said, so. If the forest folk destroy them, all to the good. But if the ancient ones fall... It may require specialists. Even then, Razor Co.'s curiosity may, be over may overcome even those warriors. In which case, they would learn the secrets of the labyrinth f foolishness. Even if the mystery is solved, nothing will change. None will profit from such a thing. Yeah, I kind of figured something was up with him. So, since Ren and... So Slatga are with him, that means they're evil too. Because they're just going to follow orders, right? 
Unless they go against him. Which could happen as well, I guess. But I guess I'll uh, meet you guys on the 18th floor. And we'll head through that area. I'm guessing now we can go deeper since we went back to the Radha. So yeah, I'll be right back. Back here on the 18th floor. B18, whatever. A vest area opens before you as you climb down the step below. It's been some time, explorers. How fair are you? The warrior woman, Ren, speaks to you abruptly. Beside her is her constant companion, the flame-haired Plachka. It seems the pair has been waiting for you here. Ren takes a slow look around the vast forest behind her before speaking. And we just found out that they work for the chieftain. The chieftain's apparently a bad guy because um, he was hope. He's like, if something happens to Razor Co., it's a good thing. Like a real scumbag. I wish there was a nearby lake so I could toss him into the lake. We heard from the Radha that you've come to deal with the forest folk. Is this true? The question has a doubtful undercurrent, as if the Ronin is unsure of your skills. The forest folk are guarded by many powerful monsters that dwell on, the, on this floor. Furthermore, it's all too easy to lose your bearings if you walk around about aimlessly. Somewhere along the walls, though, is a secret passage. If you find it, it will lead you to stairs that take you below. The forest monsters will do their utmost to prevent that. Please proceed with caution. Ren sighs as one would when completing an arduous task. That is all. We leave the rest to your skills. The two of them stand aside, allowing you to pass. If you're prepared, continue forth. Well, I'm, all, I'm always prepared. Okay, it's already mapped out, okay. I love the music in this particular zone. It's like my favorite theme that theme so far. It's so good. Like this is a banger. Alright, we got an enemy soldier and then Mystic. Probably take out the Mystic first. Yeah, we're fighting the fe uh, feather or the forest folk. I kind of feel bad about fighting these things. This is their home, and we're disrupting it. Instead of coexisting with them, you know. So this is one big area, isn't it? I bet that's what it is. So it's one big giant square. I bet. Man, this music slaps. Here I was thinking Final Fantasy had the best music, but this is some pretty good shit here. Like, this music slaps just as hard as Final Fantasy does. And let's be real, Final Fantasy has like the best music in any game, period. But this game has some really good music too. Yeah, we have to find the hidden path. Inside the vast forest, you find a small secret passage at what seems like a dead end. It seems the monsters the girl spoke of are beyond here. You decide this would be a good place to prepare before continuing down the path. The way forward waits silently and patiently for you to continue forth.
You guys gotta admit this music slaps. Oh, I didn't die. Are you serious? Yeah, good amount of EXP for these, though. 500. Okay. I'm not going to go this path yet, though. That's the way we got to go. There's a spring in here. Okay, ink stick. Nice. I do want to fill out the whole map. I can go all out now. I can do flame and everything. a good place to grind because you have that spring there but I don't know if it's worth grinding these things or not it just seems like it is Hope you guys don't mind me showing every battle in this playthrough. Um, usually in my other playthroughs I don't. But in this playthrough I do. There's a foe up there now. new monster warrior sand cloth okay thought it was the same one how much TP I use because I can just go back to the spring whenever I need to. Currently just filling out the map here. There's a place to 
Harvest over here. Okay, a mining spot. So far the same items we already got. I think it is better to get rid of the Mystic first. They hit harder. Close leveling up here. Oh, yeah, let me mark that. Back to the spring. Holy crap. This floor is massive. Oh, we got an enemy here, Mantis. A lot of defense. Oh, no, it's not new to me. That was the same one from B16, okay. I thought it was a new one for some reason. Holy crap. What the? Stop! Wow, well that backfired really fast. Me doing auto. Crap. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back. I screwed up there, that was my bad. By the way, if you're wondering why I got a bunch of money, it's because I went back and fought uh, one of the bosses. And also went back and fought some foes too. If you want to get a lot of money, go back and fight the old foes, and you'll get a lot of money that way. So. Go and revive. That's pretty insane. Those warriors did a lot of damage to me. I 
Oh, they're known as sexers, and there aren't many of them to be found on this continent. I don't know where you got it, but with that cursed bell, you can register hexers now. Go ahead and try it. Okay. I messed up my formation there. Here we go. Yeah, Hexer. So Hexers aren't very good in this game. Uh, they'll be better in the next game for sure. They're one of the best classes in the next game, but in this game, not so much. I'll complete those quests eventually, but I'm not doing them right now. Alright, so, so since I had to go back, I'm going to end the video here. In the next episode, we'll continue exploring the 18th floor. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.